We'll guide you through how to make a ringtone with GarageBand on your iPhone. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking this video. First of all, make sure you've got GarageBand on your iPhone. It's free, so you can open up the App Store and download it if you're yet to go and get it. And then what we can do is if you've got a song in your music app, which was locally synced, it can't be from Apple Music, you can make a ringtone with that. Or alternatively, we can download a song as a file or just a sound file, and we can use that as well. So if you want to go and download something, I like to use a website called Pixabay. It's got a ton of free music on there, just pixabay.com. Then you can browse the music and you can find a song which you want. So you can click on it to go and preview it. Then if you want it, you can click on the download button on the right here and you can then press download and it's now downloading. So once you've downloaded a song or you've got one in your music app you wish to go and use, we can then open up GarageBand like this and we can go and click on the plus button in the top right and then we can go and click on audio recorder. You may need to swap across to find that. Go and click on it and it will open up. Now there's a few settings we need to go and adjust. Firstly, go and click on that button to the right of the recording button, which is currently blue. Click on it to make it white. It gets rid of this sort of clicking sound, which you don't need. And then next you go to the top right and click on that plus button just there. And that will open up song sections. Click on section A and just set it to automatic and press done. Next, go to the top left and you need to go and click on this line button. It's got three sort of broken lines, just like this. And that will go and open up this screen here. And then you want to go to the top right and go and click on this loop button, or it looks like a loop anyway. And that will open up uh, a few different options. So if you've got a song in your files you wish to go and use, click on files. And we can browse the files app as well. And you can also click on music and you can then go in songs and you can see the songs which are available. As you can see, protected songs and songs not stored locally on your iPhone cannot be imported. And if you wish to use one of them, place your finger on it and it will go and add it just like so. But in this case, I've got a file to add, so I'll click on files and I'll click on browse items from the files app. And this is the song here, my recents. So I'll go and click on it and it should then be added to this list here shortly. And here it is in the list. And then what I'll do is I'll go and hold my finger on it and then it'll go and add it. So now what you want to do is go and click on it so it's highlighted. You'll have a border at the start and at the end. And then what you can do is go and adjust the end and start points because maybe you want the ringtone to start from in the middle. So then what you can do is just place your finger on it and drag it like so and you can go and adjust it. So let's say I want it to go and start from somewhere in the middle. I'll keep dragging like so and you can always go and play it back. Once you've got the starting point, then you can click on it and drag it right to the start as well, just like so. And then what we can do is go to the end and I want to make this shorter. So I'll do the same thing. I'll go and drag it a bit like that. Once you're happy with it and you're ready to go and make it your ringtone, then all you need to do is go to the top left and click on this downwards arrow and click on my songs. It'll then go and say saving. And as you can see, it saves my song 14. Then hold your finger on it and you'll see this list of options. Go and click on share and it'll say share song. And then what we can do is go and click on ringtone. And then it says your ringtone link needs to be adjusted. That's fine. I'll press continue and you can then go and name it. So I'm just going to go and name this custom. It doesn't really matter what you name it though. I'll press done and then I'll press export and it's now exporting. And once it's finished, I'll quickly go and show you how you can then go and set it as your ringtone as well. As you can see, it was successful. Then you can close out of GarageBand, open your settings, go to sounds and haptics, and then ringtone. And at the top, you can then go and see the ringtones you've made and added. So I've got custom here, so I can click on it and I can then go and use it. It's that simple. If you guys found this useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video.